Hi there, I'm Bob and I'm doing the New Testament reading for today. So we're in Philippians chapter 1, verse 27 through to chapter 2, verse 11. And um, I like that we've not got a huge chunk of this to unpack today because this is like unbelievable stuff that we're reading today. It's absolutely amazing. And I have no idea really what to pick out. But um, but I just I absolutely love it. I don't, I don't know how many times you've read this. I remember once um, being somewhere where someone had memorised this and um, in fact they memorised the whole book of Philippians which was incredible and um, and we got them just to speak this out, this chapter is just absolutely amazing stuff that Paul writes um, and uh, and I love that his call is to imita imitate Christ's humility and um, there's something which Paul says this is what Jesus is like, this is what uh, Christ is like and we're called to be like him and um, and then he, he goes in to talking about how how humble Jesus was because he had the highest place um, next to God he had you know he had all authority everything was under him and yet he gave it all up and, and he came down and, and humbled himself and even became it says even became obedient to death on a cross and I love that Jesus um, throughout the Gospels as well he tells us about what it means to um, to really be great, what it means to really be, um, to achieve something in life. And he says to really achieve something in life, to really be great, you've got to learn to serve and you've got to learn to take on someone else's agenda and to pursue that with all your heart and, um, and to really give yourself to that. And there's something in Jesus that you see, you see he takes on the Father's agenda, he takes on the thing that God has called him to do, um, which is to give up his life, um, that everyone might be saved through that. And, um, and so I just want to encourage you today that um, wherever you are, whatever you're doing in life, that God has an agenda, God has a mission, God has a plan for you. And, um, and one of the most fulfilling things that we could ever do, one of the greatest things that we could ever do is learn to serve his agenda, to, to come underneath him and his authority and to ask him, God, what is your will for my life? How can I serve you? How can I serve your purposes? Not just how can I benefit from knowing you, but how can you benefit from me knowing you? How, how, what can I do to, to join in with your story on the earth today? What can I do to serve you, God? What can I do to serve those that you love um, that I might fulfill what you have for me, which is to become more and more like you? And, and that is the greatest joy, isn't it, as a Christian? It's like, it's that weird thing of we're becoming more and more like Jesus. Hopefully every day we, we step into more of who he is, understand more of who he is, and step into um, who, more of who we're made to be as we step into his likeness as well. So that's a call today, to imitate Christ's humility, to take up uh, God's agenda for your life in a new way, in a new place today.